guys, Luna here, and we're back with a Virtue's Last Reward. I just got a new microphone, which is probably what you're hearing in the slight difference of the previous videos. So let me know what you guys think. Is it better? Is it worse? And if I should keep using the microphone. Anyways, let's get back into Virtue's Last Reward, shall we? <laughs> And we just left off with Clark being sick. Okay, we're talking about the plague that was infecting us all, or potentially infecting us all, that is. So, we just have to see. Uh, what are you doing? I turn and follow uh, Temi Temioji's gaze. Oh no, Alice, Alice is sick too. That's not good. There stood Alice, her hand wrapped tightly around the scaffold. Apparently, she had been the one to take it away from Quark. The longer I looked at her, however, the more I wondered if she'd taken it to protect him or some other more sinister reason. She didn't seem stable. In fact, she looked far more like Quark had a moment ago than I was entirely comfortable with. Her eyes were flat and hollow. Her face was emotionless mask. She was not well. Alice? Hey, are you feeling okay? We're all going to die. Huh? We're all dead already. Only terrorists would resort to biological warfare. But they will. Soon. Hey, what the hell are you talking about? You don't understand? All of humanity is going to die. The virus will spread. Adults, children, everyone, everyone! There won't be anyone left! I... I'd rather die here! Wait, Alice... We were all too stunned to even try to restrain her. We just stood there as she spun around and leapt through the door. Damn it! I shook myself and took out off after her. But those few moments of hesitation had put too much distance and too many doors between us. Shit. Which way did she go? Right? Left? I was still trying to decide when everyone else poured out of the infirmary. You lost her? Yeah, I don't know which way she went. Well, let's split up and look. Quickly. She can't have gotten too far. Right. Look, if you find her, it's probably best not to shout or anything. Just do your best not to provoke her. Understood? Gotcha. Ten Miyoji, I think you should stay here with Quark. The rest of us can look for Alice. Sound good? <sighs> yeah. I stay here. Got it. All right, let's move, people. Get going! Move, move, move! Gotta go! At Fi's command, we scattered, f filtering off into the different doors. As I ran, I thought, where should I look for Atlas? Perhaps the lounge would be a good bet. And through the lounge. Explore. 
to the treatment center. My bet is kids are now looking in the AB room. She's going to be in one of the AB rooms. And also, or she could have escaped through the... Uh, the, uh, the rooms with bombs, she could have got there. She could have been in the treatment center either. We need to find her quick or she's going to do something bad. If we hadn't stopped Cora, we need to hurry. I headed to the garden next. Good, smart choice. Again, I don't know if you do all these door animations every single time. I just do the transition. I had only gone a few steps from the walkway through the grass when I stopped short. Here you are. Good. I'm glad you showed up. Huh? I just got here a minute ago. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to carry her to the infirmary. Then she's, uh, alive? Yeah. Her breathing and pulse seem normal. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. She's just unconscious. Looks like it. What about the scapula? Doesn't look like she has it. I figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Anyway, we need to get her to the infirmary. Give me a hand here. Alice was lighter than I expected. Fine, I managed to set toward the infirmary at brisk trot. Please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. I'm sure not identical, because she has a different body set up than uh, Quark, so I'm sure there's so different stuff relating to Alice. She has also been infected with Radical Six. She's lying. <laughs> On our way back, Phi had gone off to retrieve the rest of the participants. Seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. Oh no! No! What's going to happen to her? Well, like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. There's a special antiviral treatment. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? Immunoglobulin? It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical Six. I'm guessing the, the nine of us were supposed to, like, initially have this antibodies that we were supposed to cure everyone else, but now that we started getting sick, that's not, not, not going to happen anymore. Those antibodies are the basis for Excelivir. Wait, what about those pods in the treatment center? Did you just stick them in those? Right. I thought of that too, so I went and took a closer look at them. Unfortunately... They can't cure it. Correct. They can suppress the symptoms for a while, but they can't kill the virus itself. The only way we can help Alice and Quark is if we can find some Excelivir. But the pods will keep them from getting any worse, right? Yes. Well then what are we waiting for? One of you, grab Alice. We're going to the treatment center. shifted slightly as Temyoji moved him and something fell out of his pocket with a soft clink. I bent down slowly and picked it up. Is this medicine? What? Well, what is it? Hold on. There's a name on the label here. Excelivir. Excelivir! You found it, Sigma! That's the one thing that can cure Radical Six! 
Uh, why did Quark have it? Perhaps he found it earlier. Earlier when? We explored the laboratory. It was on the other side of the red door. I happened to notice Quark putting something in his pocket. He hid it? Whether or not that was his intention is unclear. I did not have the opportunity to ask, as he collapsed immediately afterwards. It didn't feel appropriate to go digging around in his pockets for it after that. And to be honest, it had also slipped my mind. We were rather preoccupied with getting him to the infirmary as quickly as possible. Yeah, that, make, that makes sense. <laughs> Who cares about the details? We have it! Hurry up and give it to him, Luna. Uh, hey, hold on a minute! What about Alice? Does it really matter if she goes first or not? Um, I'm sorry, but I don't think we can do that. What? There's only enough here for one person. No, so we have to choose. The only way we have to administer this is with the injection gun. And the way it functions, it uses a whole bottle each time you pull the trigger. Oh, jeez. In other words, we can't split the dose in two or something. Right. While we all stood stunned, Phi moved. Stepping over to Quark, she quickly ran her hands through his clothes, then stepped back with a frown and a small shake of her head. Nothing. That one bottle was it. Do you think there might be some more back in the laboratory? No. Unfortunately not. No. Oh god. Just enough medicine for one dose. Only one person can be saved. Who should we give it to? Alice? Or Quark? What the hell is this? There's no way we're only going to save one of them. Then what are we going to do? Do I have to spell it out? We're going to save them both. How? That's... um... I needed to calm down. Think. There had to be some way to save both of them. It was there, I knew it. To be continued. And looks like we got our first ending. Since that was so short, I'm gonna continue. Yeah, so we... Yeah, so we are locked because we don't know how we're going to get more information. So, right now, we can either choose going through a different door, different color door, or we can sh go back to changing our decisions when we first played the AB game. Which, I think since it, we, it's more fresh in our mind, we're going to go back into the AB game. So, do you wish to jump? I do, and I'm going to jump to the first AB game. Hey, it's almost time. Yeah, so... What are you gonna pick? Yeah, so they... So I'm going to choose Betray this time instead of Ally. Boat has been recorded. Please wait. And there's the talking. So, um, hey, it's almost time. Where are you gonna pick if you're gonna find you can choose Pache? Don't worry about blah blah blah. All right, take it away. Clothing, one possible choice. Made a thing. Just double checking, make sure it wasn't uh, missing anything. So, if, as far as I stepped out of the AB room, yeah. So if I if I do control. Well, you chose what I wanted you to choose. I stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others rushing toward the projection, shoving me in closer. Or well, you chose what I wanted to choose. I guess I should say thanks. So, uh... Thanks. Oh, come on. You don't need to do that. I just made the obvious choice. Obvious? Yeah, well, I'm sure Alice chose Betray. That means you're pretty much out to choose Betray, right? How do you know what she's going to choose? I guess you could just say I know. Are you making fun of me? Maybe. Yo! What's up? Siggy! Siggy! Oh no! Hey! What are uh, you kids doing over there? I will, I will vote. We're about to announce the results! Yeah, they're good. Let's go. 
We'll find out if... Yeah, yeah, we, we'll, we'll find out if we made their choice. Alright. Let's so, try to skip past the dialogues we've already seen before. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Let's get ready to rock! Let's get ready to rumble. And the Dex game! Round one! Well, technically... Round a game, round two, game one. <laughs> the results! If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. There's four, five, six, eight of us on the thing. Okay, Clover. So she chose Ali. That's strange. Here are the results from your game! Huzzah! Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. How strange how she chose Ally this time. Hey, Alice, what the hell is this? What? She was betrayed last time, so I chose betrayed too. No, why? Wait a minute. Last time? What on earth are you talking about? Um, can you tell me what? When exactly did you push the button? Five minutes before the deadline. There's that announcement, right? I pressed it right after that. Why? No. What's going on? When fine I chose ally, ally, Alice could betray. I just made the most rational choice. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. But this time I chose betray and her vote changed to ally. Which is strange. Why? What is different? And history somehow changed because of my choice? Oh, that was insane. Fellas had somehow known that I had chosen Betray and chose an ally in response. At least that would have followed the principle of cause and effect. But what had just happened was inside something entirely different. There was no way Alice could have known what we would choose when she made her decision. Besides, if she had known we intended to betray her, there was no way she would have chosen an ally. In other words, she must have made her decision without any knowledge of our reason. Let's say we are talking about a game of rock, paper, scissors. I throw a rock. And right after that, Alice throws at me. Obviously, I lose. So I go back in time and decide to work out scissors this time. This time, Alice throws a rock. I lose again. But that's because it's that's fine if it's something sense. My actions in the past cause Alice's reaction to the future. See? But what just happened to baby? Let's go back to that innocent game of rock, paper, scissors. This time, Alice is the one who threw out her hand first. But in this situation, there's no way for me to know what it is. So I decide to go with rock. Now Alice's choice is revealed. Team chat should be with paper. Damn it, I lose this and I'm myself. So I once again, and I go back and try and change the history and erase my hands. What will I choose this time? That's not even a question. Scissors, obviously. After all, Alice... Last time Alice went with paper. Here's the important part. When I make this choice, Alice has already made her choice. Sure, I, I'm sure my victory, I throw out a pair of scissors. But... What the hell? My rage would be red hot. How could this happen? Why? Alice's hand had been paper before. How did it change her rock? Obviously, there's no cause and effect here. Since Alice's future choice was in the past, mine was in the future. How could this happen? How could the future influence the past? But... It wasn't theoretical now. This is how it actually happens. What the hell is going on? No, wait, what? what? Wait, 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 wait. Why the fuck was I so talking so... Why was I talking so casually about going back in time? That kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life. Wait, of course. Time travel is impossible. If there 
there's absolutely positively no way to travel through time. But if that was true. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. Hey, did you have a stroke or something? <laughs> Besides, why do I have to answer your questions? I should be the one yelling at you. Because of you two, I've only got one VP left. Yeah, you're, you're right! What in God's name is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Really, I seriously feel terrible about this. Forget it. I'm never going to trust you or Fi again. You'll pay for this. Alice stormed off. She threw a one last hurt, scornful look over her shoulder as she left, and it stabbed me right through the heart. One of the other teams seemed to be dealing with a similar issue. I really don't know what I can say. We had no idea you would choose Ally. No way I'd choose Betray. Not with Clover on the other side. What? What do you mean? Do you have an interest in Clover? What? No, no that's not... No. What is it then? Well... Um... You'd have to be crazy to pick Ally. The only way it'd make any sense to do that is if you really, really trusted the other person. So you're saying you don't trust me then? Duh! Are you senile? Yeah, so we're seeing the other side of this. So, because last time we listened into Luna, Clark, and Dio's conversation when he chose Ally. Why the hell would I trust some old geezer I just met a few hours ago? Ah, uh, I see. Say no more. Didn't think it'd hurt this much. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You're starting to get kind of creepy. <laughs> creepy, huh? I understand. I guess I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust. Um, I suppose you could say that. I just didn't really expect you to be so nice about it. Well, looks like those guys managed to get through this all right. Figure that means the fault here's gotta be mine. Huh? Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do. Right, Mr. Dio? Yeah. Exactly. Their choices have changed at all times. Dio, Clark, and Luna on the other hand seem to have resolved things amicably by choosing Ami. No doubt we were all wishing we'd done the same. But why had Dio sounded so awkward? What had happened in the AD room? Only Dio and Clark knew for sure. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. Oh, yeah. I guess you got a point. That is very true. You're right. There will be a second round. If I had to guess, I'd say that it's going to be ten Mialdi or less. One or the other. Yeah, if you had to choose who would die first. Yeah, because they only have one point. Or <gasps> it, might be, it might be both of them. Exactly. <laughs> what? Why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess. I see. Alice and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Dad, sorry, not sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you've conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. After all, it's not like anybody else knew. Right? Right, Fido? Yeah, I guess so. But I knew. 
I, I mean, I don't know. I took a moment to look over everything in my head. Maybe a game would continue to someone with the Nord. Da, 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 da. We already talked about this. And we, all the pairs are the same. And there's time, so we're gonna go exploring. And I'm remembering how I got kidnapped. Yada yada yada. So. I guess I went to the infirmary first, so I'm gonna go to the quarters. Talking about random stuff, and I have a cat, a cat well, quirk. Well, I don't think there's any reason for us to get all worried about it. Yeah, so... Yeah, is there a pandemic? Well, we don't need to be worried about it. We should just hurry up and try to find out how to get out of here. Quark has a point. If we want to know what's going on outside, the fastest way to find out is by going outside. Yeah, you're right. Good! Mr. K and I will keep searching the cabins then. What are you gonna do? I guess I'll go somewhere else. Okay. Then we will see you later. Later. I stepped out of the cabin we had been in and headed toward the small hallway. Now... Where to next? Just the infirmary? I don't know, since we already had a lot of these conversations. And we're going to the next room. And do, 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 do. And no way in. Infirmary, huzzah! And in the infirmary, yep. So, so uh, what are you? Uh, so Obviously. Oh, come on now, you don't have to get your panties in a bunch. That's easy for you to say, Dio. You're sitting pretty at 5 BP. Tenmyoji and I only have one. You do understand what that means, don't you? That's no reason to take your anger out on people. You won't get your BP back by being a jerk to him. What's this? You're gonna take his side? I thought you, of all people, would agree with me. I do. No, you don't. You don't get it. Why would you care? You've got, what, maybe five years left, maybe less? I'm not like you. I'm still young. I want to live a long life. There's so many things I still want to do. Like what? Well, let's see. I want to wear lots of gorgeous clothes. I want... episode so feel free to check out the previous things going on and now we're gonna go check out to the lounge and we've already had a discussion in the lounge so a voice broke the silence this is where we get I pulled over and saying like hey there's a bomb <laughs> Something horrible has happened. Please, you all have to come with me. What is it? I found something horrible in room two in the crew quarters. Something... Last time it was Clover. Horrible? Never mind. You'll understand when you see it. Our Clover ran trying to get us, so it's slight difference in writing, I think. Kay was there first, followed by me, five Clover, and Luna. He said nothing and just pointed under the bed. The four of us crouched down and fo followed his finger. There it was. The bomb. I think it's a bomb. So... And that's where we had our preparation initially. So... And then boom. Explosion. Ooh, pow, kazaa. Of course. It was the same bomb I seen in my vision. Had it been an hallucination? Had it actually been a premonition? I'll go find everyone else. No, there's no need for that. Quark is already bringing oh, them back. Oh, a slight difference. So instead of uh, Clover or whatever getting them, there's some. They should arrive soon. You see? Where is it? Where's the bomb? Yeah. No sooner the words appear. 
appeared out of Kay's mouth and the rest of our fellow captives appeared. Uh, Clark shoved the others aside and pointed out the oh, popcorn. If you notice a slight difference, there's a little extra like sound dampener that I have that I'm trying out and I have no idea if it sounds better with the dampener or not or without the dampener, so you'll have to let me know like the diff which difference you like as well. See? There it is! Under the bed! so spooky. For several long moments, we just stared in silence. Slowly, we began to eye one another, or suspicion suddenly we awakened. <laughs> it was me. I found it while Quark and I were investigating this area. We split up to collect the rest of you. How did you know it was a bomb? I have seen it before. When? I'm not sure. Because of the amnesia? Yes. Are you kidding me? We don't even know if it's a real bomb. Well, it's always things are wrong. Are you gonna tell me you believe that guy who can't remember his own fucking name knows a bomb when he sees it? <laughs> no, Kay is right. That's a bomb. I'm sure of it. Because of her secret, super special training. How do you know? I just do, okay? You sounded pretty sure about the switch, too. How do you know all this? Let's just say it's an occupational hazard. What kind of occupation do you have? I can't tell you that. Spare me the bullshit. This isn't. We talked about like who really did it and everything else. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Hey, the doors are open. We need to figure out who's gonna go through which door. <laughs> Pay attention. I'm only just like the last time. We've got three possible combinations. Well, you decided the first time, right? Yeah. Then can I decide this time? I think I deserve it. I only have one BP left. Doesn't it seem like the fair thing is to let the person who's at the greatest disadvantage choose? Wouldn't you agree? That means you should get to choose too. I mean, you've only got one BP, right? You've got a point. But how about we listen to what Alice wants first? So tell us, which door and which people do you want? The green door, and I want to go with Kay and Quark. I see. Option B, then. That means Tenmyoji and Dio will go with Clover through the blue door. Is that all right with you, Tenmyoji? Yeah, sure. I don't mind. W why? If we go through there together, that means you'll be playing against me in the next A-B game. Are you really, really sure? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Matter of fact, that's why I want to go with you. You said you didn't trust me, right? Well... I'd like to change your mind. I figure this will give me the chance. Um... I've been wanting to pair up with Alice, too. There's something I want to talk to you about. Oh. And that is? We'll get to that later. Anyway, Alice's first choice would be option B, then? Yes. What about the rest of you? Is that okay, too? I 
don't have any problems with it. There's no objections. Then we're all set. Oh, I clicked out of it. Let's go, everybody. Ten seconds remain. Nine, eight, seven. like it. I wonder what this thing is. It looks like the thing next to the number nine door. It's got a lever. Try pulling it, Sigma. Why should I? It might be dangerous. <laughs> Maybe it'll trigger an explosion. Why would it trigger an explosion? Or possibly it shocks you when you pull it. Why would it do that? Who knows? Then I, I have no choice. Do you really think I'll say that you hot this monster? There's nothing on either. What's that supposed to mean? What? <sighs> it's called dressing modestly. I'll have you know I'm a C cup. You two might take a while, so I pull the lever. Is that okay? Yes, thank you. I appreciate you. You're the best. You're super sweet. And you're my favorite person. Especially since you're a nurse. Only the one on the left opened. <laughs> the others are still shut tight. Well, we should get going anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yep. They'll probably open when we finish the other doors. <laughs> If we fan it, manage to finish the doors. <laughs> what is this place? It looks like some kind of control room. How interesting. I can see a huge machine of some sort on the other side of this window. Maybe a generator? <laughs> right, well, let's split up and look around. We need cards with the moon on them for the next AP game, right? Yeah. They're probably in this room somewhere. Then let's get started. Yes, let's. And with that, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys have a good day, night, week, months of your lives, and may the stars forever guide your path, forever might lead you into the future. So, see you next time, guys.